Hi and welcome to the second video and if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook or Google Plus or somewhere else then please go to markplex.com and you'll find out what this program's all about and a whole lot of other programs and free tutorials. So after having sent out um, some information I was asked what did I mean by using this in conjunction with an indicator or indicators and simply what I meant was that you could look using an indicator or several indicators determine what your rules would be and then put in the let the uh, text on the chart to generate dummy historical trades so I've got a simple example here in this particular case you probably would find it easier to actually write a simple strategy but um, this is a this is an example and what we've got is a slow stochastic and we've got uh, the blue line crossing the overbought and over, uh, oversold and what my rules are is if it crosses this top line like it's doing here then we are gonna put in a sell short and if it crosses the bottom line like it does here we're gonna do a buy and then of course the program has its own three targets and a stop and a trailing stop so the first thing you do is you just go into the strategy and the strategy is already applied to the chart here and you would determine what you want to set as your targets one two and three and uh, also your stop and also the the trailing stops and having done that what we could now do is go through the chart we go back however much data we wanted to test this over and we would look for okay so it looks like we've got a sale sell short there looks like that's a cross you probably need to double check that by zooming in but we'll assume it is for the moment now one thing to bear in mind is that when a chart is developing you can get a situation where a bar will move a certain way and something will cross and then it will uncross so you need to make sure you're not too optimistic about where you put the trade I'm gonna put it there now we are looking again looks like we've got a cross here now this particular case we've already sold short so we're short but we we may have hit one of or, or all of our targets or the stop so I'm going to put another sell short in here anyway and again we need to make sure we're not too optimistic about where we put the trade and make sure that we've got enough bars after the cross to uh, to take account and uh, and so on and we would go we would have to do this throughout the chart again looks like there is a cross there you probably want to double check that so I'm going to put a buy then we've got a sell short here I'm going to put it there again make sure you're not too optimistic about where the cross has occurred and uh, so it looks like I've got to buy somewhere about here so you'd get the idea you do that you would go throughout the chart and then when you had done that you could put in you could refresh the chart and you'd see the, the trades appearing and if we go back you'll see that we've got some trades appearing here like so another thing that you probably want to be aware of is the max bars back setting now this program doesn't really need any max bars backs so what we can do is go into the strategy click on properties for all and then we can set this number here maximum bars study will reference to zero and there's just other, one other thing I wanted to mention is now that we have put our trades on the chart what we could now do is an optimization of some of these other values so for example we could optimize say target one start uh, something fairly small and target two leave it at that and just go through and put in the values you want to optimize then say OK and set the optimization going Anyway, I uh, hope this program will be useful to you. Thank you.